I implemented the method uh, slow read as a proxy for any slow I.O. operation. So I'm blocking here for one second and then returning read slowly. So um, what happens here? I'm calling slow read first, which blocks for one second, and then I'm performing another task. And let's run the code. You see nothing happens for one second, and then we see uh, two results and once. So let's say I would like to perform the slow read in a background without waiting. And for this purpose, I would like to use a thread pool, which is the executor's new single thread um, executor, and submit the slow read as a callable task. So this looks like this, um, pool submit, and then just I would like to pass a method reference, which is a callable. And uh, what I get now is I get a future of string, and future is like a proxy for the future result. And instead of calling result or printing result, I would like to call the get method first, which will block and wait until the result becomes available. So this is the order of the tasks. And uh, what happened, again, we waited for one second and then saw, then saw the two outputs. Let's rerun the code. You see that another task returns immediately and then re re uh, read slowly um, is calculated. So what we achieve with that, with the future is, we didn't have to wait. We, we, we were able to execute the operation in a background.